So this is actually the last video of my 30s, which is weird to say, because that means that my 40th birthday is right around the corner. I don't have anything special planned for it, which is a little depressing and disappointing. But I mean, there is one thing at noon Pacific Standard Time, I don't know what time other, well, you know, so that's, I don't even know if it's Pacific Standard Time, but at noon on Monday, which is my birthday, there is going to be a virtual Lindsay Sterling concert. What does that mean? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's some sort of concert she's putting on online, virtually. And if you have VR, you can watch it in VR. I mean, luckily, just under my desk here, I do just happen to have a VR headset that I don't really use that often because it gets really warm. I have to wait till the colder months in California to use it. So... Hopefully I can get that working for Monday, because that'll be interesting to watch that in VR. Other than that, uh, yeah, I don't think I really got much else. All that commotion is Buddy. He's playing, you know, the, the rings that have the scratching post in the middle and then the ball that goes around? That's what he's playing with right now. He chose now, of all times, to do it. This is probably the longest intro I've ever done. Uh, roll the thing. Hey guys, Sean here. So, since it is August, that means that it's the end of the year-ish, sorta. We're getting close to the end of the year, which also means that my, my crunch time at work, this is when things start getting crazy. So, as a result, I have very little time. I have very little free time. And as such, I'm currently super exhausted. My, my brain is fried. And I, I don't really have much to, that I can, yeah. I don't have time to think about these videos and what to put in them. So generally during this time of year is when you see a lot of stream of consciousness videos coming out. So that's what this is going to be. Especially because I don't want to do a lot of editing. I, I just want uh, just cuts. That's all I really have time to do. So yeah, we're just going to ramble, put some cuts throw it up that'll be it and you're gonna have to put up with with the sound of buddy playing with the ball thing because I'm not gonna make him stop it's it's making him happy so today when I'm recording this it's Friday night and d23 is going on d23 is uh, the Disney convention it happens I believe every other year and they have announced a lot of stuff today so Disney is coming out with its own streaming service to compete with Netflix and Hulu and just every, everyone's coming out with their own streaming service because that's the that's the wave of the future. No more television, all streaming to your devices directly. And yeah, and Disney is coming out coming out strong with with their stuff. They previously announced that not only is a whole bunch of old Disney stuff going to be on there. Also now old 20th Century Fox stuff since they own them and just all sorts of things but also new things that they're going to be putting on there that are Star Wars related and Marvel related and Pixar and you know everything Disney owns which is almost everything at this point. Unfortunately it's only almost everything and not actually everything. And so they had already announced I, I believe five Marvel live-action shows that they're making that tie into the Marvel Cinematic Universe Which was super exciting and then today they announced three more which is even more exciting and then they announced I think two new Star Wars series as well 
on top of the one that they already had announced. And since they bought 20th Century Fox, they have a, what was it, commanding stake? They have a majority sharehold of Hulu. And a few weeks ago, they announced that they're doing a bundle package with Hulu and Disney Plus and ESPN for like $12.99. And I currently play $4.99 for Hulu. So this, that's an incredible deal. That is an amazing deal. I, I mean, I'm definitely going to be signing up for Disney Plus when it comes out because everything that they've announced for it is just, well, not, I mean, I mean, they showed a trailer today for High School Musical, the musical, the series. I don't really care about that, but, and, and they announced that there's going to be a new Lizzie McGuire series. I don't really care about that either, but all the Marvel stuff, all the Star Wars stuff, all the Disney stuff. I care about, well, I mean, okay, High School Musical and Lizzie McGuire, those are Disney stuff. You get what I'm saying. I'm super looking forward to Disney+. Plus. However, of course, there is the other thing that happened this week regarding Disney and Marvel and the Marvel Cinematic Universe that has just, just really super bummed me out. Now, I don't want to get too into it because I've said that I'm going to make a video series all about this all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's something that I want to do eventually because to me the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the greatest accomplishment in cinema history. All 100 plus years of it. But just a quick little recap of what happened this week. So in the 80s Marvel was a comic book company and they almost went bankrupt. In fact they may have... no they didn't go bankrupt. They almost went bankrupt and in order to drum up some cash to not go bankrupt, they ended up selling the movie rights of all of their big characters, like the X-Men and Spider-Man and the Hulk and Fantastic Four, just all the, all the big names that they had. They sold the movie rights to various companies for lots of money. And since they were desperate, they didn't put limits on these contracts and so with that money they got back up I you know I don't want to get into the details of how they managed to build themselves back up but then in the early 2000s superhero movies started to get a renaissance and so they were like hey we should make our own movies based on our characters however we sold the rights to all of our big characters so that's gonna be a problem. And then they were like, oh well, well, we'll make movies based on the characters that we still have the rights to. Well, actually, we won't make them. We will just put up the money for them and then have other companies make them. But we'll oversee everything. And since we're overseeing everything, we'll make sure everything connects in some way. And so that's what they did. In, two what was it, 2008, they made the movie Iron Man and then the next year they made the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man showed up at the end of the Incredible Hulk and then they made Iron Man 2 and then they made Thor they made Captain America and they made the Avengers where they all came together and it was the beginning of the big thing and all of it culminated with earlier this year with Avengers Endgame which was well is the highest grossing movie of all time I like I like how this is the short version of what happened. So anyway, one of the big things that they did in the 80s when they were selling the rights, they sold the rights for making Spider-Man movies to Sony. And Sony held on to those for quite some time because they were like, well, I mean, we have these rights to make a Spider-Man movie. We just, we don't, we haven't seen a script that we like. And we haven't really met with a director that we think could do it. And, and technology really isn't where we kind of need it to be to make a Spider-Man movie. And so eventually, in 2002, they got around to actually doing it. And so they released the movie Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire and directed by Sam Raimi. And then they released Spider-Man 2. And then they released Spider-Man 3. And then that, no, no one really liked that movie. So they were like, okay, well, we're gonna stop for a little bit. And then Marvel was like, well, if you're gonna stop, can we, can we, can we take back? We take that as Spider-Man, and they're like, "Oh no! Well, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna actually, we're gonna make another one." So they made the Amazing Spider-Man, starring Andrew Garfield, and then they made the Amazing Spider-Man Two, and 
no one really liked that movie. But while this was going on, Marvel was changing the face of cinema with with the craziness they were doing where the marvel cinematic universe was becoming the biggest thing that could ever happen in movies and so finally sony sat down with marvel and they were like okay here's what we will do we will put up the money for a spider-man movie and you guys can make it and you can put the spider-man characters into the marvel cinematic universe so you can have your character in your movies but we will get a majority of the profits from it because we're putting up the money for it i mean you guys can do all the work but we're taking all the money oh and i f i forgot the important part that after the first few marvel cinematic universe movies came out uh disney bought marvel for a lot of money so this negotiation was going on between Sony and Disney, so big companies, really big companies, the biggest company. So they came to the agreement, they're like, okay, fine, to get Spider-Man into our movies and to finally make really good Spider-Man movies, we will accept this deal. So the deal was made, everyone was happy, Spider-Man appeared in Captain America Civil War, and everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Spider-Man, he's in the MCU. And then he got his own movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, and everyone was like, oh, this is great, Spider-Man, and he's in the MCU, they're doing it right. And then he ended up being in Infinity War and Endgame, and then they released Spider-Man Far From Home, which was kind of the capper, the epilogue of everything that the MCU had been building, building up to with Endgame. And it was like, yay! And they were kind of building it up that, Spider-Man is going to be the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then, earlier this week, it was announced that they're splitting. That Disney and Sony are splitting. I guess the contract was finally up. It was time to renegotiate. And Disney was like, look, we did all the work on these movies. We made these movies what they are. We made these the highest grossing Spider-Man movies. And Sony was like, well, not so fast. We also made this animated Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which everyone loves. And don't get me wrong, is a great movie. It's fantastic, but it's, they can't do live action Spider-Man. They, they've proven that they can't do good live action Spider-Man movies as well as Marvel did so but that that's that's neither here nor there in this so Disney when they went to negotiate they were like we want to do a 50 50 split with you because the way it was was like I think Disney got five percent and then Sony got 95 percent of the back end <laughs> and it was really the the only thing that Disney was really getting out of the deal is that they were able to use Spider-Man and characters from Spider-Man and that was it but they were like look we built up spider-man back to what he should be so we want to do 50 50 and sony was like no we're taking him away from you and so now where it stands right now future marvel cinematic universe movies cannot use spider-man but also and i don't think that sony is thinking about this Spider-Man movies going forward cannot use anything that came from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Which is kind of what the newest Spider-Man movies are all based around. It's really confusing if you don't understand at all what I'm talking about. But they, they just really... They, it makes no sense what their plan is. And, and boy, when, when this information came out, they got an earful on Twitter and everywhere because wow people are not happy about this I mean I'm not happy about it this week really it showed me that I am too invested in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of how much this upset me <laughs> I should I should not have been as bothered by this as I am but wow it, it, it just 
it ruined everything. We were, we were, we had it all. We we had, we had, we had reached a point where Marvel had gotten rights to all of their characters back. They got the X Men back. They got Fantastic Four back when they bought, well, when Disney bought 20th Century Fox. Everyone was back. It was finally we were finally gonna have everyone from the Marvel Universe back under the same roof. And then Sony's just like, no. We're we're taking back our toys that they rightfully bought in the 80s. But Yeah. So we'll see what happens with that, but as it stands right now, it's not it's not looking good. And that is that is super sad. And I know it's not really sad. It's not something to be sad about because it's just movies and it's dumb comic book movies and all that. But it's, you just, if you don't get it, you don't get it. And I understand that. But yeah, that went, that went much longer than I planned for it to because that was supposed to be the short version. But I, I just kind of had to get it all off my chest. Anyway, that, yeah, that's, that's what I got on my mind right now is how much... How exciting today was for all the announcements for Disney Plus, but they're still looming in the back of the head, the whole Spider-Man thing. And so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know how your week's going, what's going on in your life, anything exciting. Are you exhausted? I gotta edit this now. Ugh. Yeah, so anything you want to talk about in the comments, feel free. And while you're down there, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of the crazy crap that goes on around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to help support the crazy crap that goes on around here, go ahead and hit up my Patreon. Link is in the description. And with that, have a good however long it is until you watch my next video.